What's up guys, Glick Mirror from Internet Money, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make your own samples in FL Studio and then sample yourselves later, like chop them up and then do all that so you can make fire beats. So this is kinda of gonna be like a video you've already seen on the channel, like how to make melodies, but I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to chop it in different ways. And basically it's just like me making a melody from scratch. So with that being said, Follow me on twitch.tv slash nickmirror to watch me cook up live, nickmirror underscore, um, and yeah, let's get into this cook up slash tutorial. So first off, I have um, uh, FL keys loaded up, and I have Omnisphere and Electra X, you know, a different array of VSTs to use for melodies. So with my melodies, how I do it, I'm not going to say how to everybody should do it, but this is how I do it personally because there's no set rules. I always start off with a main uh, a main melody, like a top line melody, just a single note playing, and then I'll add root notes under that, and then I'll go in with different VSTs and add layers. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, for the sake of giving you guys a little cheat sheet, I normally don't do this because I like to just go by chance. But um, we have, what you can do is open a sampler channel and then you can uh, shift or just right click the little pencil tool up here. Do, um, let's just do Alien, Aeolian, it's the minor scale. And we're just gonna go pick A2, A3, all the A's we want, A4, A5, A6. A7. And we're going to stretch this out all the way over here. You've probably seen this technique used before. And right click, click none because we don't want to lock that on. Now make sure you go down here and do helpers and make sure ghost channels are selected. You can do Alt V on your keyboard to activate that. And now we have this guideline to make our melody. So A is the root note. Our melodies are going to revolve around that. So we're going to start off by doing a little we're just going to click in some random notes on these gray bars and see what kind of melody we can make. I'm going to speed this up to like 162. I'm going to do control L to connect these notes. I like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate it over and this is my main melody. Now what I'll do from here is I'll go in above and I'll add another, um, a few accent notes. And I already know A is my root note so I'm gonna go down here put an A and I'm gonna skip every other note for the chord and then I want to drop it down and then I want to bring these chords down Two. So I'm going to take this chord over here and then bring it down. What we can do is now, dyslexia, what we can do now is, um, Take these chords and just stretch them out like that. So now I have my my main melody out. I'm gonna cut that from FL keys by doing Control X. Go to Omnisphere, pick a cool sound I like. Uh, I'm gonna self promote my uh, kits right here, and I'm just gonna use. Let's go for the Luna Omnisphere Bank. Actually, no, there is a key I want to use. Um, Napalm, is it in here? Show, I have too many kits, I'm sorry y'all. Let's try the paste key, Shogun. That's not it. It's this one, alright. 
So now what we can do here is we're going to send these to our mixer by doing left click, dragging it down on those notes, or these little things up here. Right click, link selected, starting from this track. Click the little arm disc down there. Make sure this is on our playlist. Do Alt R on the keyboard and press OK. And now that is going to go right there. Now we have that. Now I'm going to come up with a, a counter melody. So I'm just going to take, let's go to all, let's go Athena Bank. I want just like a bell. here and take the chords only do control C then go over here paste the chords by doing control V add a note at the end do control L to connect them yep collect them I can't speak properly um, and then just want to arc other melodies we just created then we're gonna have a big melody and then we're gonna be able to sample it from there so I'm gonna open up FL slicer now and it's not here FL slayer no slicer fruity slicer I mean okay here I'm gonna go to the playlist all these are playing I'm gonna unclick these on the bottom and then do it on the master now do alt R so now we have one master of all of them we can drag it into fruity slicer and then solo the pattern and now we have this to mess around with so I'm gonna do beat click this so it's beat I'm gonna bring the attack just up by like two milliseconds And then we can transpose this. I like to pitch my samples down always. Now the thing now, what you can do with it is figuring out what parts you want to play where. So if we wanted to, what I would do aside from just doing this, because in here you you know you can You can just chop it up like that but me personally I like to mess with my sounds individually so I would just take one like this um, and then I just pitch this down let's do negative 200 cents I do the other one negative 200 and then I do the other one negative 200 and right now I'll explain to you what I'm doing here so now this is how I would structure a sample for like a beat for somebody to make I'd start off with just the, the keys, the simple stuff playing. And then I'd introduce something after that just to lead it up to the hook. So probably this.
and then the hook drops and it's the other one comes in and then the pad would come back in now on the second half of my hooks I like to pitch my melodies up or what I'll do with my samples in general is I will um here let me just add these back to the um to the mixer like this Then I'll add um, effects on it. So I'll only have certain effects playing during the hook. So you'll know it's the hook. So it'll be different. I like Fruity Chorus. It's a good free plugin if you have FL Studio. It gives it the phaser. You can use Fruity Phaser achieve a similar effect um i don't have certain uh plugins on this computer but sound toys has a lot of good plugins like um the arp one they have um grow uh grow speed's good to use you can pitch things up and down and they have their own flanging sections <laughs> If you guys want gross beat banks i have a few on wave supply also uh jade and flux they're just like a bunch of gross beat presets for your beats and a thing i like to do with gross beat is i like to bring the time knob just halfway down or like or just not fully so then you get the effect of it on and off as opposed to i use this one a lot for my hooks it's probably like a, just a signature Nick Mira thing with is this preset because I made it myself and I use it in a lot of my beats. But so I just solo that for the hook like this. Uh, right click the. I'd bring the automation clip down or the volume all the way down, right click it, then press A on the keyboard to create our automation clip, and then just right click it on here, and then drag that up. And then if we wanted to, you know, for the verse, we'd, we'd put this like here. And a thing I like to do is right click this, make it unique, pitch it down even, or we can right click this, edit, do Alt T to change the pitch and pitch it all the way down. An octave pro default, accept, drag it back in. One thing you have to be cautious of when you do this is you have to take out some low end because it'll get really muddy. So take out a lot of low end and it'll sound better. But it'll sound really good for the for the um, hooks. Right here you have intro, hook, we can just do this like this, alt T, hook, right here we have verse, bridge, intro, and then you're done. You probably can't see this, let me just drag this over here so you can see it, my bad. Cause my cam's in the way. 